Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring with Essentials. In this video, we are going to work on the integration tests. But before we proceed, uh, let's fix uh, a small error here because I realized inside the anime controller we didn't create tests for the update. Because when we go here to the anime controller test, here we are actually not uh, testing the update method, we are testing the save. So we just uh, change a couple of things here. We change here, here, here. And then uh, instead of get body, and uh, this one will be our response entity. Whoops, just go back. Create reciprocal variable, response entity, and then we just check if response entity is uh, not null. And then we can check the status code of this response entity if it's no content. It's equal to. no content HTTP status no content and then here the same thing we check if the body is no okay we can uh, run all the tests inside this class again And now let's work on the integration test. So the integration tests are pretty similar to the tests that we have here inside the anime controller. The difference is that we are not going to mock anything except the, the database. So we can create a new package here. You can split in any way you want. I'm just going to create a new package called integration. And uh, I'm going to copy here anime controller test and I will change the name to IT. And I'm going to explain why later. So now that we have the integration test, the first thing that we are going to do is uh, change here because we're not going to use extended width. We are going to use the Spring Boot test and we are going to start the server every time. So we ideally would like this to run in a random port because we don't want the servers crashing. I mean the test crashing because we have the service already running in a specific port. So by doing this, every time we start this test, it will start the the server, in this case the Tomcat, and then uh, it will run the test. Now, we are not going to use uh, the anime controller anymore. We are going to use here auto-wired, and instead of the anime controller, we are going to replace with test rest template. So this test rest template, it's already configured to, for example, get the port that we are going to use randomly here. And uh, if you want to figure out what port you are going to use, we have this local server port and we have here private int port. So this way you have access to the port. If you go into this annotation, you can see that's getting the local server port from the configuration. So every time it starts, it will set this configuration and then you can pick up that configuration here inside this variable. But we are not going to use it here. Now, the other thing that we need is the, the database. Because since this is an integration test, we are going to run everything. So we are going to run the controller, we are going to run the test, but I would like to avoid uh, having uh, a database running I mean, we will need the database running because this is going to trigger the application context, but I would like to avoid the setting up the database for each one of the tests. So for that, I'm going to mock the database uh, requests and responses. So I will tell here anime repository, anime repository mock, but I'm not going to use just mock or inject mock. This time I'm going to use mock bing. So mock bing is an annotation that can be used to add mocks to a Spring uh, application context. So if we have any existing single bing of the same type defined in the context, that bing will be replaced by this mock. So if no existing bing is defined, a new one will be created by this annotation. This annotation is not from Mokito, uh, it's from Spring wrapping the Mokito. So if we search here, you can see that's mock bing um, from Mokito, but inside the Spring framework uh, package. Okay, so if we're mocking the response from this anime repository, I'm going to the anime service 
Just copy this entire setup and we will replace here. So we are replacing the request to find all, to find by ID, find by name, save, delete, and save here when we are actually updating. And the utils, we are not going to mock it because we want to test the behavior of the utils as well. So now that we have the repository mocked, every time we execute a request to the controller, the real controller will be executed, the real service will be executed, but then when we get to the repository, we will have these uh, mockitos being triggered and returning whatever we define on then return. So now that we have uh, everything that we need, we can just change a couple things. For example, now we are not going to use enemy controller anymore. We are going to use test rush template. And um, we can use here dot, and we can remove everything, exchange, and then we tell, hey, I would like to execute a call to Animus endpoint. This call, it's a HTTP method get. I'm not going to send any request entity. And um, remember, this is going to return a pageable. So new parameterized type reference. And uh, we already know pageable response anime. And uh, we can use it here get body to get directly. And if you want to turn off uh, at formatter off and then on. So we can use it like this. So it should be exactly the same. So we have here the string expected name and then we are executing a call. So we have the same anime page. It's not new. And then to list is not empty and to list getting the first position. It's uh, the get name is expected uh, should be equals to the expected name. So we can uh, let's do all of them and then we trigger the, the request. So the second one it's uh, we can use get for object that's rest template dot get for object and then uh, instead of find by id we'll call like this and then we are going to tell that we are expecting anime dot class now find by id uh, find by name returning a list of enemies inside the page object. So we do the same. This one does not return a list inside the, the let me double check here, anime controller. So find by name, yeah, it doesn't return. We just copied from the list all. So return a list of enemies. So we just rename it here. And we remove it here and then from wherever we copy it we just change as well it's a bit difficult to type and record and talk at the same time return list of enemies when successful okay going back so the same thing here uh that's rust template now we are going to we can use the exchange again. Let me remove everything. And then exchange is enemies, but we have a find and we can give any name that we have equals tensei. And then we say here that this is get again, no and new parameterized type reference this list and I think this should work let's see let me remove this one by copying this one and adding it here and the same thing for matter off and for matter on so as you can see it's exactly the same thing as we have uh, inside the anime controller the difference is that now we are triggering the real thing and now saves uh, create anime same thing uh, we can copy this 
Now let's uh, type them. Test rest template. Remove all of them. This is a bit different. Exchange slash enemies and then post. Now we need an HTTP entity. So we can copy the HTTP entity that we were using inside the Spring client. So we have this one. So we can go back to anime controller IT. Uh, so we are creating HTTP headers and uh, let's create also an HTTP entity because otherwise we will have to use new inside of the method every time. So here let's just create private HTTP entity and we are going to return uh, HTTP entity of anime and then create HTTP entity json http entity and we are going to ask for an anime and then we are going to return a new http entity with this anime and then create json header okay now we copy this name here and we go back so create json http entity with anime to be saved so this way we can reuse in all requests that are expecting us to pass this HTTP entity. And what we are going to return? We are going to return when we save anime.class and then dot get body. So everything we keep the same. And now to delete, it's the same test rest template exchange, but the method now it's going to uh, animates. And we are going to delete, for example, one. The method is HTTP method delete. We are going to send a null and we are not going to return anything. So void.class and we leave this way. So we are doing this test that we are expecting here. And now the update, it's uh, we have to fix the test. The test for the update again it's going to return no content so i'm going to well actually this is what we are already expecting no content get a status okay so here test rest template remove everything that exchange slash enemies but this time we are going to use but and then create http uh, with a json valid well, we don't have um, an anime to be updated here, so let's anime creator dot create valid updated anime. Uh, actually, create a valid anime. It's not going to be updated. And again, void dot class. Okay, so let's check. Maybe this one will fail. Let's see. Let's execute all of them. And you will see that the server will start. I think it will fail because we I forgot to start the database. Yes. So as you can see, it's failing for each one of them because I didn't start the database. And now again. Okay, only the last one because it was not found. Probably because the update here. Let me check. So expecting not found. Okay. Let's start again. Okay, and we have all the tests running. You will see here on the logs that we are starting the entire service 
and we are if we uh, set a breakpoint here for example anime controller we can just set the breakpoint inside anime service as well and then when we trigger again in debug mode you will see here that the anime service is the real anime service so we are auto wiring here and then if we go inside the only thing that's being mocked is the anime repository so when you take a look at the anime repository you can see that this is a mock but the utils and uh, everything that's going on in this class it's the real thing just the response of the repositories that we are mocking so this is it for the integration test in the next video let's see how we can split unit and integration test when we are uh, building the application so see you in the next video bye